up for waiting years now. It, is it fair given what you said at the beginning of this press conference that this runway is at the stage where these kind of problems will be happening more often, that it's actually deteriorated some over the years to, to get us here? My second question, just to pile on, is is there any compensation available for people who lost money because of this situation? Yeah, so this, this runway is about 30 years old, so it's time for it to be replaced. Um, and with government support, we're pushing a bunch of money into into these infrastructure adjustments to ensure that we don't have to worry about this, or that our traveling public doesn't have to worry about this for years to come. Um, there is, from, from our perspective, and, when, and Governor spoke to this, um, this is a weather event that occurred that, that caused this. When we when we started cutting out that AC, we found layers of water infiltrated into the pavement that caused that helped cause that shearing that occurred in that area. And from our perspective, it's 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 unfortunate that the flights were impacted. Unfortunate that people's travel were impacted, and, and some people incurred additional costs. Um, but this is not unlike any other weather event that potentially um, blocks out visibility of an airport and doesn't allow an airplane to land. From that perspective, it's very difficult to, to assign blame uh, for this kind of thing. It happens. Okay. And just to wrap, um, uh, look, I want to particularly uh, thank Ed and his team. They were on top of this like you can't believe. Uh, a lot of times people say we don't do things quickly in Hawaii, and that may be the case occasionally, but not when it comes to our safety. Uh, not not two weeks ago, they were able to clear our, you know, the poly super fast and this time uh, fix our runway. And we're going to be honored to welcome uh, the um, Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg, uh, here to the islands next, next month, where he will look at a lot of our infrastructure and we'll be making our case to him uh, through our directors mostly about how the federal government can support Hawaii going forward, because they know that um, we're, we're true partners. So that'll be next month, and maybe we'll even get Pete up to do a press conference. Aloha.